Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to tackle a subject that is really difficult and it might be a little bit hard, but I'm going to try and keep a lighthearted feel on it so we're not just, you know, just talking about down, being down and everything like that because that's the one thing that like, I feel like I'm coming out of this and if you've read the title description, it's fighting depression and I feel like I'm coming out of something right now and I don't want to be, I don't want to have those down feelings. So I'm going to keep this as lighthearted as possible and insert a joke here. Well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. So that is something new about Stewie. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is like, how do you know you're depressed? I mean, because I mean, you have your down days or whatever. And, and for me, it's just a, a feeling of a continual down cycle. Like I, I can't get myself up for anything. Hey, phrase it. And I, so it, you know, it's it's that that feeling of like, I just don't want to do anything. I just well, you you can do that for a day. That's fine. But it's when you start to see that happening over and over and over again, and you go for weeks, months, and uh, on a time. And that's when it starts to turn into a depression. Maybe not clinical depression, but at least a mood of depression that you're going through. Now, by no means am I diagnosing myself here with depression or anything like that. It's just one of those things that I know some people call, let's, let's say, we, let's call it a funk. We want the bomb. Give up the bomb. Let's say I was going through a funk for about two months here. And I've noticed signs that started I've had some things that happened when I when I did a video a couple of months ago. Have you seen? It hadn't even been a couple months, month and a half ago. Uh, talking about the narcissism versus social uh, versus sociopath, um, brought about by the Jake Paul series by Shane Dawson. I, I I guess I got real introspective about. Things like that, you know, about what's going on in this channel. What, what is, you know, what is all this? We're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay, all right? What the fuck is going on? And I got probably in my head too much. If you understand what I mean, I'm sure you do. But it, it almost, it, you know, actually, I think it even started before that. I think it started when I did the 50 hour subathon and the and the aftermath of that of getting banned. Like that was the first thing that on this YouTube that I've like faced, like, I mean, I, I've, you know, I go through the normal things of, you know, oh, this video wasn't well taken or whatever. That's normal with YouTube, but this was like a setback. It's something that like, I'm still paying for, you know, uh, until the end of, until the middle of December. That getting banned just kind of put a downer on me. I mean, just overall. And you'll notice that not long after that, like I had this, area in like August and September where I was banging out videos and then I just kind of after after the end of the month I just kind of slowed down and, and, and that's when I think when I when I kind of realized it lately I this past weekend it really hit me like listen Richard you're in depression funk whatever you want to call it I mean, you've got to break yourself out of it and that's that's the difference between a full-on clinical depression and funk depression, whatever, is that when you're in that full-on depression, you can't bring yourself out of it. That's, I think for me personally, that's the difference. I know when I have been clinically depressed before, um, where I was on medication to help, it was it was a thing where I couldn't stop the thoughts from coming. So just And that's where the difference is for me. For well, I guess I think that's actually the difference, like medically. But after that, there was some after aftermath after the that and the thing. I guess started hearing some comments about you know that people were unsubbing because my content wasn't great or whatever like that. So you know that right there, I, I you know I hear for some that I've got good content. They like the content, but to hear that from other people, it just oh. You suck, you jackass. That's that's one that like if you don't like the content, 
but the problem is, is it's it's people that were close to me that, that said that and 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 on you know people that i trust to be honest with me uh, maybe uh, maybe they're a little more critical than than some but you know i still took that to heart you know it was something that you know you think about so and with that kind of brought my like this this last month of stagnation you know and on top of you know with the stagnation is going to come lack of growth you know it just it just kind of compiles upon each other and that's you know some of the things that have really on my channel started to bug me i haven't been in here and then I, you know what another one and this is more recently i just released the first episode of the poppy cop show with jc and i together and if you haven't seen that it's, it's a good time we're, we're really working on the format it's been through several iterations already we have tested this We've, we've it, it, the problem with it is, is it feels like it's there's always something going wrong with it. What's the evil eye? I just put a Sicilian curse on you. You're not gonna have a moment's peace till you hold that tree away. And I think the frustration of that got to me as well. You know that I was working on this thing and it just wasn't working out. And I just ah, oh, you know, I couldn't. I couldn't get past it. It, 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 it. it seemed like a lot of it wasn't necessarily under my control. Like we would have internet issues. We had computer issues. We had, I mean, even, even the episode that we've got out now, this is the, this is the, the first final product, which we're not happy with at all, at, at, you know, by any means. We're, I mean, it's, it feels like it's, it's, it's not our best work, but it's, it's that's that first episode getting it out there. We just got to get it out there and we can't keep fiddling with it until it's perfect because it's never going to be perfect in our eyes, I don't think. I have to admit it was not my best show, but that's okay. I have to give myself permission to do a bad show every now and then. But it's one of those things that we'll take this, build upon what we saw in this, and go from there. And that's what we've been doing from the beginning. But it's been such a struggle. And on this episode, I'm, I find it took a lot longer to get it edited than I thought it was going to. The editing sucked in there. Sorry. That's just the way it is. But that, again, was another computer issue. We thought when we were recording Skype that we were going to be recording just JC and then I would be recording me. So as I'm recording the Skype conversation, well, then it comes back and that both of us are on there side by side and which is not bad and um, but i would rather be able to do that in post put my feed beside his feed with good, good quality and 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 then do that go ahead the side by side instead of having that the only video that you can see of jc you know and especially when katie came on like there you can see half their faces it's it's ridiculous you know so that was one thing that we're really really working on is trying to get that out, but it's been so frustrating. And I love doing it. I love the time I get to spend with my friend that I haven't seen in forever. If you were a chick, who's the one guy you would sleep with? John, John Samos. Samos. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. But it's such, it's been such a burden on me personally, you know, and, and for me to, especially for now that like, I've gotten the show to where I like how it looks. It's decent looking like I'm back in the studio finally. I haven't been in here in a while. I've been shooting in the other room and stuff like that. But um, it feels good to be back in the studio, properly set up, everything running. I hope. Anyway, so, <laughs> but to be back here in, in the studio, I love it. You know, I've, I've, I, I, this is the, my favorite part of YouTube, it's just to be here and talk to you. But also, this can't be the only thing that the channel is. But I, I think that's kind of most of the problems with the channel. But personally, there's some things I need to do to that I've been fighting to. Another big thing I've been going through lately is financial issues. I've been having quite a bit of trouble lately. And um, stuff that I'm dealing with, but it's... I've got to go through it to get there and you know that brings you down 
it, it's something that like, you know, if I can't go out and do anything or if I, you know, just get stuck at the house because I have no money, it's kind of a bummer. I'm just saying, you know, so that's another thing I guess has been kind of bringing me down during this time. Another problem I've been having lately is weight issues again. It seems like I can't keep it off, and it's all this stuff, you know. I just, but when, when you get depressed, it's all. This is what comforts me, you know. And so, I, I don't know. It's it's something that I I can't keep control of. When when I am depressed, I start to eat, and then the eating when. I gain weight just feeds the depression on top of it. So it's something that's I fight all the time and I know and I, I just gotta get to the point where I keep it off but it's such a struggle such a struggle you know to sit here and, and I'm not buying any of this today but that's what it is you know this is one of the things that feeds the fire Of course, a big reason for kind of everybody's depression at this time of year is this is what I go to work in in the morning now. Like, it's dark, you know, and with the shorter days, you know, it's been shown that people get more depressed come wintertime. So there's that change on top of all the other things that's been going on. Another thing that's part of my depression is on the weekends, sometimes this is what it looks like a lot. I'm just kind of sitting around watching football or a movie or, you know, or I, sometimes when I get really depressed, like, this is all I want to do. I just want to cuddle up on the couch and just sit here, you know. I don't want to go do anything. And I think that's why it's best, like, I go do something, you know. In fact, like, I tell you what, I'm going to take the rest of this video on the road. The main thing, and this is what I want to talk about, it's what I started with this weekend. And it's the difference between fighting back at my depression and just succumbing to it. And that's, that's the one thing that I've always found that can bring me out of those funks, is just to take care of things that I have control of. I was not in control of that situation at all. Because <laughs> in this world, it feels like there's so many things that are out of our control that it doesn't matter what we do, and you can sit there and worry about it, and I, I'm not one of those. I don't sit and worry about things, but I do think that there's a lot of things that I can't, that I can't handle, you know, that I can't do anything about. So what I do, is I take control of the things that I can take control of right then that will make a, a difference in my life at that moment. And this weekend, one of the things I did was I, I just cleaned my kitchen, I cleaned my house, you know, I cleaned my bathrooms. I, I, it was something that makes me feel better about the place I live or makes me feel better just in general. You got to do those little things that make you feel better. Get a haircut get something to do take myself out pamper myself just to make myself feel better and that's the one thing that you know if you improve your self-image you feel better about yourself and it's one of the things that makes me feel better to get over my depression and another good way to fight depression is exercise and like super good for depression the reason is, is because one, it releases endorphins to uh, that make you happy. Um, people who exercise are generally more happy, said someone. And um, two, in my case, it's a kind of a double thing. Like, it helps with my weight issue. So if I get in here and exercise and work on my weight, then I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kicking out two things. I'm releasing those endorphins and then on top of that, I'm losing weight, which makes me feel better about myself. And that's nothing but a good thing. And those things take care of a lot of the things I've talked about personally, you know, with the weight loss, with the finances and stuff like that. Those things are going to 
correct themselves with exercise and stuff like that. But in taking steps that I can do right now, I'm doing one right now, and this is actually going to help me on twofold. The first is, if you saw last week, I put up a video uh, called Road Trip with uh, myself, Kevin, and Taylor. And we went to a Kansas City Chiefs game, had a blast. And on top of that, that is my favorite video I've ever made. And, and maybe by leaps and bounds. So I feel like that's the kind of content I'd like to go more towards on my channel. I feel I really like that, that vlog, the traveling vlog as we're doing right now and as we have been doing going around and talking about my problems i think i need to take it out of just the studio of course there are going to be times that i'm going to just be in the studio talking when i have to get an, uh, something out whatever that's still going to be part of my my channel i can't get around that i and plus i i feel like that's my psychological zone maybe it's it's my metaphorical couch when I sit down and talk to you you're my psychologist I'm just sitting there talking getting my problems out so personally I need that that right there also helps my mental state so that's that's gonna be around but I do like the feel the flow and the fun of the vlogging, going out, getting out and doing things. That's going to help me from being at home, being lonely and just getting out and doing video content that I like. There won't be the stagnation. There won't be, you know, the feeling of dread when I try and think of an idea for a video. I'm going to go have fun on my videos and I hope that's going to come through for you. And like today, I'm doing a video just like that. On well, as I'm filming this, we're on the way for my next video. I'm gonna go film with Kevin again. We've got a trivia tournament coming up today, and it's it's just so much fun. We had such a blast last week, and I didn't. I started to film it, and I wasn't sure if the guys were gonna like it. I didn't really get anybody's permission. So this week, I've talked to everybody. You know, we're going to have a good time with it. I'm heading up to film that right now. So just a little small trip just to go go film this. And it's it's something that means more than anything. It's not just it's not just the getting out and it's not the change of content. It's being with loved ones. And that's a huge part of fighting depression. Be with the ones that you love. Let them love you. Let them pick you up. And when you're in those times, that's what family's for. I'm doing that now. I'm spending time with the loved ones. I'm going to go up and film a video. I'm going to have fun. And I'm going to fight my depression. And that's what I'm doing. I'm taking those steps before it turns into something that I can't fight. And I won't let it get to that. I've been there before in... I know the coping mechanisms to make it to where I don't have to be depressed. I'm not going to let it overtake me again. And that's what this vlog is now about. It's those things to fight depression. It's, I, there's so many out there that deal with this on a daily basis and we kind of put it away and we, we, we feel shamed for it, you know, for being depressed. It's something that you can't, can't, you can't, you can't help it. I'm showing you the tricks that I do to fight depression before it becomes full on clinical depression, before you can't stop it. These are things that help me. So I'm, I'm fighting it now, but there's people out there that are losing that battle, that are beyond what these things that I do can help. And I know there's 
there's things being in that that fighting that depression that these do help i mean it's it's you know to make yourself feel better by going to get some you know going to boutique get a haircut just make yourself feel better about yourself that help those help i know they don't you can't cure it like that but they sure help they really do so if you got if you're fighting this talk to someone talk to someone who cares about you and there if there's not if you feel that you don't have anybody that cares about you you reach out to me at Richard Hauk on Twitter I will talk to you we can get in touch with someone that can help you and get through that because I care about you if even if you think nobody else does I do I care about each and every one of my subscribers I care about everyone who's watching this video you know I just I care that's part of my problem on the other side but that's a whole different video but I care and I want you to know that you've always got somebody you can reach out to reach out to me I'll talk to you I, I'll you know if you've got a problem I'll listen you know I'll be there this channel is still going to have pop culture it's still gonna be things I like but I do want to I, I want to focus on being happy you know and on a channel that we can work to make I, I, there's so much shit in the world why can't we come to one place, one channel, one little thing that is just about being happy, you know? And that's why, I, that's how I'm going to look at this. I'm, I, you know, and, and sitting here talking to you, this, this wasn't planned. I, I didn't just say, I, this is just where I've kind of felt like, this is a, a, a big video for me to reach out to you and say, listen, I care. I care. Big time. And you don't have to fight it alone. We'll always have somebody there to help you. So if you believe in that message, like, subscribe down below, leave comments. Let us know. Let us know what you're going through. Last night, I was talking to Marley, and this is the girl who did my hair. Absolutely love what she did. And I was talking to her about this video about depression and fighting depression and she too battles it and has battled it in the past but she said something to me right before I left and it really got me and I don't know that you know that I, I don't know that I, maybe I've expressed it to her at the time or whatever but Marley if you're watching now like she told me that you know that you are cared about, that you are loved, and I don't know that she knew that I knew that I needed to hear that, but it was, you know, it was one of those things that like that's the message I want to pass on to you. You guys are loved. Yeah, I know it might not seem like it in the current climate that we're in, where there's just so much hate, and there's so much discord. Maybe a little touchy feely, but I want to promote a place of peace, of togetherness, and that's what I want on this channel, and that's what it's going to be. So, I hope you liked the video. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment below. This video has gone on way too damn long, and uh, I am just rambling at this point, just to have somebody to talk to, I think. Cause I'm on my way <laughs> and it's just me all the way to Springfield. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. Just wanted to let you know that you're cared about and someone loves you. And that someone's me. So until next time, I've been Richard Howe and I'm still Richard Howe.